Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video, I'm going to show how to clean install macOS Sequoia using the DFU Restore method on Apple Silicon Macs. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Now here comes what you'll need to restore. Of course, the Apple Silicon Mac on which you want to install macOS Sequoia, another Mac that you will use to restore the Silicon Mac. This Mac must be using macOS Monterey or later. A USB-C to USB-C cable that supports data and charging, such as the Apple USB-C charge cable included with some Apple products. It works with ports on Mac that accept a type USB-C connector, Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt or USB 4, Thunderbolt 3 or USB 3. Don't use a Thunderbolt 3 cable. However, if you don't have a USB type C to C cable, you can still go with a USB type A to type C cable, which supports data and charging. Now moving further, let me tell you how to set up your computers to restore macOS Sequoia on your Apple Silicon Mac. By following these steps, based on whether the Mac computer is a laptop computer or desktop computer, you will use the USB-C cable to connect the two computers. Then enter DFU device, firmware update mode on the affected Mac. In case you haven't got a USB-C cable, use Type A in the working Mac computer and the Type C end to the Apple Silicon Mac computer. For a laptop computer, plug the Mac into a power source. Mac with Apple Silicon, facing the ports on the left-hand side of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the leftmost USB-C port. For desktop computer, iMac, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the rightmost USB-C port. Mac Mini with Apple Silicon, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the leftmost USB-C port. Mac Studio, facing the back of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the rightmost USB-C port. Mac Pro with desktop enclosure, on the top of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the USB-C port furthest from the power button. Mac Pro with rack enclosure, on the front of the Mac, plug the USB-C cable into the USB-C port closest to the power button, now on the other Mac. With the computer booted to macOS Monterey or later, plug the other end of the USB-C cable into any USB-C port. If using USB Type-A to Type-C, plug the Type-A end into any Type-A port. Also, make sure the Mac is connected to the internet. Now on the Apple Silicon laptop computer on which you want to restore macOS Sequoia. To enter DFU mode, press and hold the power button for up to 10 seconds until the Mac turns off. If your Mac has a Touch ID button, it's also the power button. Press and release the power button, then immediately press and hold all four of these together on the built-in keyboard. Control on the left-hand side of the keyboard, Option on the left-hand side of the keyboard, Shift on the right-hand side of the keyboard. Power button, Mac with Apple Silicon, keep holding all four keys for about 10 seconds, then release all keys except the power button. After about three seconds, release the power button. Now on the Apple Silicon desktop computer on which you want to restore macOS Sequoia. To enter DFU mode, unplug the Mac from its power source. Press and hold the power button. Keep holding the power button while plugging the Mac back into the power source. After about three seconds, release the power button. Now, let's move to the final process. How to restore macOS Sequoia on an Apple Silicon Mac. After setting up your computers, use either the Finder or Apple Configurator to revive or restore the affected Mac. To restore macOS Sequoia on an Apple Silicon Mac, this shows a Mac ready to revive or restore from the Finder. This shows a Mac ready to revive or restore from Apple Configurator. After getting your device into DFU mode, you'll need to download the macOS Sequoia IPS view file according to your Mac model. Go to ipsw.me and then from the site, download the IPSW for your Mac as shown. From the product page, select Mac, from the platform, select the Mac model on which you want to restore macOS Sequoia. From this version page, click on the latest macOS 15 Restore IPSW. Lastly, from the download page, click on Download, and the Restore IPSW will be downloaded in a while. After the Restore IPSW has been downloaded, open Finder or Apple Configurator on your Mac. Now to restore macOS Sequoia on Apple Silicon Mac using Finder, press and hold the Alt or Command key on your keyboard and then click on the Restore Mac option in the Finder window. Now select the downloaded Restore IPSW and then click on Open. 
After the Restore option pop-up appears, click on Restore and then proceed with it accordingly. If you wish to use Apple Configurator, just drag the Restore IPU to the Apple Configurator and then you'll have to click on Restore and then we'll need to proceed accordingly. After you click on Restore, the Restore process will begin. After you get this message, click on OK, and then your Apple Silicon Mac will boot to the Sequoia Setup screen. Now set up your Mac accordingly. And as you can see, macOS Sequoia has been successfully installed on an Apple Silicon Mac computer using the DFU Restore method. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.